My mom here is going to demonstrate how you make sauerkraut. You want to take a head of lettuce, a head of cabbage, actually not lettuce, head of cabbage, and you want to get rid of all these outer leaves on it. You want to core it so you get the heart of it. Uh, it helps. These these are the buckets we make the sauerkraut in. You uh, it's food safe. It's not something you get drywall in or anything anything of that nature. It's actually a food safe bucket. And what we do is we we half them then then we use these cutters and we cut up the cabbage into that. Now we're going to use uh, non iodized salt. You want a consistency of about a cup to well, maybe a cup and a half depending on your taste per 20 pounds of cabbage when you layer it in the buckets. And we'll show you more about that in a minute. See she's half, having the halfing and having the cabbage Having and having are two different things. It's, it's like havings and wants. <laughs> Here you go. You're done. Hopefully not cut your arm off in the process. That is a very sharp knife. <laughs> Show the people the right way, Mom. Now these cutters are nice. They're uh, totally adjustable. They're very old. Two blades. Watch your fingers. You can adjust them with these to make them the cut longer, wider, or deeper. You want to get it as fine as possible. I've got a good bit of it cut up and I'm going to put it in that bucket there, but uh, you want to measure out your salt. We're using a canning and pickling salt. You'd, like I said, you want non-iodized salt. And uh, I'll put a little bit of it in there just to start out. That's uh, that would make it like coleslaw. You can't use a blender. I'm just going to put a little bit of it in here just to I like season the bucket a little bit because it's going to be laying in there a little bit won't hurt. And uh, I'll put the cabbage in here and layer it with, with uh, the cabbage and the salt and then pack it down real good. You don't want any air in between the layers of the cabbage. Now we have uh, sauerkraut in the, the cabbage in there and we put a double bag around on the inside. And that's going to be the water is going to hold it down and seal the, the uh, cabbage so when it ferments it'll you won't get any contaminants in there. So we're going to put a good bit of water in there and then we're going to tie the top, put the, the lid on it, and then we're going to let it sit for how about, how much, about two, three months? Six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks? Yeah, that's about the longer you leave it in, the, the more stronger it's going to get. So we don't like it too strong. We like it where it's pretty much uh, a decent, decent texture to it, just decent taste. Again, this is the consistency you want it to be cut up at. You could probably add a little bit more water to that. I don't know. Yeah, I'd add more water. Hopefully the bag doesn't break and leak. That'll ruin it real quickly. We had that happen last year and had to uh, throw a whole bucket of it away. Not a good thing. So that's how you make sauerkraut.